we are back from our hike and today we're going to draw a crab that we found in the creek so let's get started uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try and draw a shape kind of a circle real light and and that's gonna be the basis for how big I'm gonna draw the crab here so uh, first, second thing I want to do is I'm going to draw kind of a circle about in the upper right corner, more of an oval, just kind of give us a shape there. And let's see here. All right, so let's divide this in quarters. So we'll go down half here, and then we're going to go down half this way. And that will help us kind of see where we want to put our legs. So from about this point to about maybe here, about halfway in between that section, we've got a big arm that's kind of coming out this way. And so let's just put in a rectangle there for now. And then it kind of shoots over this way. So let's do another little rectangle, and then it's gonna shoot down this way. Another rectangle, this time maybe a little fatter than this one. And then the claw is going to come, we've got one that way and maybe one that way. So a couple of rectangles there and there. So. Then let's start with the other arm, and he's in the opposite section, so kind of maybe from here to this point, another halfway point here, we'll put a halfway point in. So these are our markers where we're going to kind of bring out another little rectangle for that arm. And... So I might have angled that incorrectly. So let's let's bring it this way. Okay. And we almost have a circle kind of right here, oval. So let's put that for that section. And let's go ahead and do a rectangle here. And then the claw, let's do a, well, it's actually a triangle. So let's do a triangle there and let's do another triangle here. All right. So let's kind of pinpoint where the eyes are gonna be. One eye is pretty much coming out right over on this line, but over the arm here. So I'm just gonna put a little circle there and then the other eye i would say it's on the bottom half of our little dividing dividing line here and it kind of goes from this eye i'll if you imagine a line going to this arm it's along this trajectory so maybe right around here we've got another eye so let's just put that circle there and I don't want to start getting too much detail just yet, but let me just do a little half circle there, and then a little line here, and then another little oval shape here. Okay, and then let's see here. Yeah, make a line here. Let's put a little triangle in here. And maybe another another one right there. All right, so it kind of gives us the mouth a little bit. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six legs that, oh no, actually eight legs besides the big claw. It looks like one's in the shadow there. I didn't really see it. So, so it looks like the first leg, I'm just going to put some points here. It's going to come out from about here. And then we've got another coming out right after this arm here. We've got another one coming out right about there. And then the last one coming out from about there. 
Now the other side, trying to determine where those come out of is a little trickier because we can't really see uh, that side and we only really see two of the four legs. So it almost looks like uh, from, oh, uh, let's see about here. We've got a leg coming out from there and then another leg coming out from there. And we kind of don't see any other legs. So let's see, at this point I want to flesh out the shell of the back here um, because it's not really a perfect circle. So let's kind of put a little arc in there and then it kind of undulates, reverses. So we've got one going that way and then another arc going the opposite way. And let's, see. and then it kind of curves back again this way. And let's see, and it kind of curves in again the opposite way. So it's a lot of this reversing going on. And then another reverse going back that way. And then what you see here is you'll see a line coming from about the halfway point of the eye socket. And it's a line going like that. And then we have the shell, bottom shell, underneath that. And so let's see. So that gives us a better idea. Um, all right, then you all, I see like a triangle here from the outside of the eyes. It kind of goes back to about the center point, more or less here of the shell. So let's just, I'm just going to lightly put in a triangle here. And. Let's see, and then it kind of, let's see. Put a little line in there. And then it kind of. All right, let me see here. So this line is now going to have some curves. So we've got a curve going that way, and then it's reversing back. And then it's kind of reversing and reversing. So it kind of almost like this wavy line that's, it kind of makes. And then it kind of goes like that, like that, and then like that. And this is not really a solid line. This is it's harder to represent with a pen, but uh, I want to get the basic shapes in there so we have something to distinguish the shell a little bit. Okay, all right, let's go ahead. I'm probably might have went a little deep on this, but let's give it a little bit. All right, now let's go ahead and start putting in some legs. Hang on while I adjust my image here. All right, so let's say from about this point, we've got a leg kind of shooting out this way, so let's put a little rectangle in there, and then it angles this way so another little rectangle smaller one there and then it shoots back almost like a triangle so let's put a little triangle shooting back that way and i think i just moved my paper okay um all right so then we're going to start from about this point here let's do another rectangle like so, and then it's gonna shoot this way. And then what we kind of have is it digging into the sand and it's almost a, tri let's put a triangle there. All right, now let's start on some of these. So this leg, remember, starts underneath this arm. So we don't draw that, but we'll draw it when it comes out here. And so for the purpose of this, I'll go ahead and make some lines there so you can see what I'm doing. But you don't have to draw that because it's underneath. And then it's going to shoot this way. And so let's get our rectangle 
there. And then we've got a little bit of angle this way, so let's put a little thin one there. All right, three more legs. So from the, remember these three circles here, these are the points we want the legs to come out. So from this one, let's do, let's kind of use, well, let's see here. Do that rectangle. Now here's what I want to do. These joints kind of form a line that goes like that. So we've got a joint there, a joint there. We've got a joint somewhere about here and then another one here. So let's just connect, make our rectangles there and there. And then let's finish off each leg. So this one's going to angle this way a bit and then let's give us a little triangle there at the end this one's gonna go like that and then it kind of gets covered in the dirt the sand and then this one it goes this way and then like that so it's starting to look like a crab to me which is good um, so let's go ahead and flesh in a little bit of the arm. So instead of this rectangle here, let's go ahead and start giving it some of its curves that we can kind of see in the image. And let's see, so get a little spike here and then a curve here. And then from here, A little bit of a curve, not exactly a straight line. So let's just start getting those in there. And let's see from, from this little spike, it kind of juts out and back in. A little notch there, and then we'll connect it. Okay, there's a little hole or something there. Just put a little mark there. I think I actually missed a horn that might be coming out right here. So let's just put a little triangle there. All right little spike or something and then from this little divot there's where this line's coming out a little bit and then it cuts back and then let's go to the claw okay and then uh, let's see here then this is gonna cut back and then this is all one piece this bottom claw so let's make sure we draw it like that and getting to be a tricky angle without rotating the paper, but let's see. And then this gives us a curve that goes to about this point here. So let's just kind of curve that. All right. And then there's more detail. There's some, you know, bumps and stuff here on the cloud. I'm not too worried about that stuff right now. Uh, but let's go ahead and. Give this a little a little depth here on the top claw, and I probably want to change pins to do that. So let's uh, let's see here. Let's go work on the other claw over here. So as this arm, portion of the arm comes out, uh, it's coming out underneath the eye here. So and that's got some bumps here. So I'm just gonna kind of. Pencil some of those in here, and then from here, it's going to about here. So let's angle that a little bit like that, more than we had, and put put some little bumps in there. All right, and then there's got a little. I probably made this a little longer than it is. kind of make it up all right from here it looks like a little nodule or something sticking out uh, a little section here okay and then from here we've got instead of a straight line we're just going to get a little curvature 
Looks like a little spike in here, so I'm put a little triangle, more or less, there. And let's cut this back. Now there's so many, this is taking a little longer than normal because of the, you know, it's a complicated little creature compared to a bird or something, so try to speed this up a little bit. Uh, let's see, and remember that this portion of the claw, like on the other one, this is connected, it's all one piece with the bottom claw, which kind of goes into the sand here, so let's just... work put some joints in there all right and then let's see the bottom clocks like there's a few little nubs there all right and then we've got coming out of the top is the movable piece and this instead of the rectangle that we drawn before we're going to kind of curve this so a little arc there and then a little arc there and that's kind of going into the sand too so I'm just going to kind of put some sand in there okay let's see here there is a leg I think it's one of these legs is kind of passing in the back here so let's just kind of throw that in throw some shade on it all right couple of legs left so let's curve these here they are pretty straight for the most part so I'm just gonna do that um, this has got a little bump here all right and then this is pretty much filled in with shade here and this cuts back all right more or less on that one this one there's a little joint or something here, so let's put that in. And then we go into our rectangle. And we'll give this a little bump here. There, and let's just shade that in. All right. Next, uh, there's a little joint, almost like a triangle here. Okay, then we go into our... Hope, I'm up, hoping I'm not moving the paper too much can't see the camera right now and we're just gonna kind of rough these in and this thing it's getting close right, I'm gonna go ahead and change pens give us a little thicker pen I can get this done a little quicker and now at this point I'm kind of almost not even referencing the image anymore um, I'm kind of just loosely looking at it so then we've got this little loop here. Okay. Uh, this section here. Almost like bamboo or something, the way these are kind of looking. And then this one, I can't really see it too well in the photo, so I'm just going to give that a little curve. And then I'm going to shade this whole thing, this whole leg in. All right. Give this a little depth. There's a little shade here, so let's just go ahead and do that. Get a little there. Okay. All right, so at this point, I'm just kind of looking for details to put in. Let's do a little shading here. And a little on the back there. Let's get a little on this hump thingy here, and then... All right, what I still haven't gotten to is the mouth and the eyes, so let's darken in the eyes a little bit. There actually is a little highlight on the eyes on the top there, which I really didn't get on that one. All right, and let's give a little dimension to the shell here, a little. 
Now the eye, to me, it looks like it's going out like this on the little like sticking out thingy. So let's put those in and Okay, then the bottom shell, let's go ahead and shade that a little bit. And then the shell is kind of a rounded triangle. And it goes into the bottom shell. Boy, this guy is detailed. All right. Uh, and then there's a lot of little, let me see if I can zoom in a bit here. I don't know what you want to call these teeth or just a little detail work in here. So let's just kind of. Do some stuff like that. All right, and let's go ahead and do a little shading, give him some depth, cross hatching here and there. Uh, let's There goes my alarms. Okay. Just in time, we're pretty much done with this guy, so. All right, and there's our crab that we found on our hike in the water. And I think that'll do it for today. And thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we appreciate the thumbs ups. And we will talk to you guys hopefully next week on Hike, Find, Draw.